Hey everyone, Brian from Anki Models here. Today we're going to be looking at how to paint this little lure here. And this is using two of our stencils. We have the HS45 Micro Blotchy. We do a larger version of that as well. If you need that, that's the Blotchy stencil. And we'll also be using the HS46 Micro Mottled. And we do a larger version of that as well. So you can see the difference, that's the, the two model ones, there's other variations of that too. And we've used the blotchy along the body area and the micro mottled just around the eye here to give it a little bit more detail. So we'll go into how we did that right now. So the first colour we'll be using is a dark brown. I'm just going to show you on here, this is a light pass. This is a more of a heavy pass, this is a strong pass. So it might look black on the camera, but it's uh, it's basically black with a little bit of brown in, so you get a, a dark brown. So we'll take our HS45, I'm going to concentrate the markings fading from strongest at the top to lightest at the bottom with a little bit of a transition going on. So we're going to hold the stencil nice and tight. You can see here where it's actually touching. I'm going to concentrate the spray here. And lightly build the colour up. If you do it, this is just air now. If you do it too much in one go, the pattern will get ruined. So there we have the markings. And I'm going to darken the top. I'm aiming the spray just along this top area, and it's this overspray which is then giving you the, the blend. Slightly around the face area. As we can see, it's mostly the top area. We're going to use a transparent colour now. So this is basically an ink, which over white, it looks quite strong. When you spray over the black, it's not really going to do anything. But a light spray, you see there, medium spray, stronger spray. And we'll be using all three types. To start with, I'm going to aim from the top and get the nice fade. You see that transparent colour isn't really doing much to the black, but it gives you a nice transition there. And once I'm happy with how I've got the top, I'm just going to lightly over the whole thing very quickly. Blend it in. I'm just going to build the colour up where I think I want it. Another quick pass of the whole thing. And then I'm going to pick out certain areas. Put like a shadow in there. Underneath the gill there. Under the fin, just a lightly there though because we're on the white. So now, just add a little bit of white. I'm just going to pick out a few areas for a little bit of a highlight. So 
and then we're going to use our transparent colour again to knock that back under the background. So then we're going to use our HS46 micro modeled. I'm just going to put some little white dots around the bottom of the gill area. Again, you want to just hold it nice and tight to the lure. There we go. Use our transparent paint again to help tint that back into the rest of the lure. So there we go, ready for clear coating.